rubber game between the Yankees and the Red Sox from the Bronx on Sunday. Bottom one, Curtis Granderson hitting cleanup for the first time as a Yankee, facing Josh Beckett with no losses in his last seven starts against the Yanks. But falling behind here, courtesy of the RBI double into the right field corner by the Grandy Man. That scores Derek Jeter and the Yanks have a 1-0 lead. Opposing Beckett on this night, Hiroki Kuroda. He was looking good in the third. Pedro Siriaco down for out number two. Then to end the frame with a man at first, Jacoby Ellsbury, the swing and a miss. The Yanks maintain their 1-0 edge. Home half of the third now, it is Derek Jeter with one away. The deep drive off Beckett to left center field. It will skip over the fence for the ground rule double. Jeter's second double of the night. Two batters later, the Yanks now have second and third, and Jeter will come home courtesy of the Josh Beckett wild pitch. The Yankees now grab a 2-0 lead. Let's go bottom four. It is Ichiro who digs in against Beckett. Swung on drilled. There it goes. Deep right. It is high. It is far. It is gone. Second deck. Oh, did he hit that? The Yankees' rising sun says sayonara in the second deck, and the Yankees take a 3-0 lead. That is WCBS with the call and more of the same in the home half of the sixth. Once again, it is Ichiro facing Beckett. Here's the 1-0. Swung on, and there it goes again. Deep right. It is high. Not as far. It is gone. Ichiro hits two home runs in a row, and the Yankees have a 4 nothing lead. Once again, WCBS with the call, and Ichiro getting the curtain call from the Yankee Stadium fans after his second bomb. Let's move to the top of the seventh. The Red Sox finally getting to Corona, courtesy of Adrian Gonzalez. The solo shot to right field, his 15th on the season, and the margin cut to three as it's now 4-1 to one New York. But Corona by the eighth inning going back to his dominant ways. He strikes out Nick Punto for out number two, and then it's Jacoby Ellsbury at the plate, and he can only manage the shallow fly to center field. It is gloved by Curtis Granderson, and Corona yet again outstanding on Sunday. He would go eight frames, four hits, one earned, as the Yankees win the rubber game 4-1. They now lead the Red Sox by 13 and a half in the AL East. Corona becomes the third Yankee pitcher with at least a dozen wins before September 1st. Joining CC Sabathia and Phil Hughes, it's the first time the Yankees have accomplished that since 2006. Dustin Pedroia 0 for 4, his hitting streak snapped at 13 games.